got any room in front of you. I got plenty of room. I will in a second. Alright, you know what? Just get it over with. Just go. Do it. Make your blow off valve go off. So you can be happy. There you go. <laughs> Alright, so right now we're on our way to go pick up my hatch. I'm with Wyatt right now. So I was giving people some rides in it to get like a reaction video and I definitely hurt her somehow. It's either a head gasket or a crack sleeve. I'll just mob in once I hit fourth gear, uh, cloud of smoke out of the fucking up pipe, just shut off, wouldn't idle anymore. So pulled her over to the side of the road and now we're gonna go to our home and then I'm gonna go rip the head off and see what happened to it. But yeah, it's, it's pretty fucked. It did not last very long. <laughs> Just three months ago, I put it together, and I was like, we'll see how long this build lasts, but I already broke her. And it sucks, too, because I just got all my cars running, and I was actually going to make a video and, like, go start up all the cars, because they actually all ran for once, and then this had to happen. So, it sucks, but we'll get her fixed. There she is. It's, like, about to tip over. God damn it. Fucking race cars, dude. I hope you can get it out of the ditch. Yeah, I think we should be all right. I mean, it still starts, it just runs really bad. So, all right, I guess I'm gonna try to start it up real quick just so I can pull it out of this little ditch right here so we can push it, because we gotta flip it around. So I am gonna run her just for a second, but it's pretty bad. Hey, take the e-brake off. Let's push it up a more. I got the hatch pulled in and I pulled all the spark plugs out and I got my bore scope down in there and I found the problem. So on number three, yeah, number three, uh, looks like I lost a chunk of my piston right there in the corner. If you can see that, I'm not sure if it's melted or a piece completely just broke off. Looks like that corner might have melted a little bit and then just blew a hole through it under compression, but that's definitely the issue right there. So, kind of nice I have this bore scope because I was going to just pull the head off, but knowing that I'm probably going to need, for sure I need a new set of pistons and possibly a block, I might just let the hatch sit for a minute and uh, build a block on the side and then when it's all ready, just swap everything over. But uh, yeah, this kind of blows, but it happens. Wait for Brent to get back and see what he thinks. But yeah, that piston right there is definitely missing a piece out of it. All the other ones look okay, it just seems to be that one. And that would explain why it's blowing, like, coolant out. And it was also blowing, like, actually I said it was blowing coolant, but it might have just been burning, like, a whole bunch of oil. Because there's actually quite a bit of coolant left. But the smoke was, like, really white and it smelled like coolant to me. But maybe just in the moment I didn't realize that it was actually oil burning. But, uh, yeah. It's it's pretty hurt, so gonna have to pull the motor back out of the hatch again, unfortunately, to fix her. But I'm gonna try to get that done as soon as I can. But like I said, I need to wait for Brent to get back, and then we'll go from there. But this kind of sucks. Just got all the cars running, and unfortunately, the hatch did not last nearly as long as I thought it would. So maybe it had something to do with being high compression. Maybe you guys were right, but I mean, she was running great for the three months it did. Like I mean, this is definitely the fastest it's ever was. And it's still just stock block, and those are just small gold pistons. They're nothing special. So maybe they, sh they just couldn't handle the power and the heat. So we'll see. But that's where we're at on the hatch for right now. So I'm filming this two days after the uh, hatch kind of blew up on me. Uh, a couple things have happened since then. We've been pretty busy this last weekend. And real quick, I am going to show you guys a better picture 
of what actually happened. So I had some oil on the borescope earlier and it was a little blurry. So once it can focus, so there's a little better picture of what's going on in there. So the one side of the piston is pretty melted and there's a little chunk of the piston missing right there. So all the other cylinders look perfectly fine. So uh, I was talking to Brent a little bit and it most likely went lean somehow. It might have went lean during the pool. The pump could have like, you know, slowed down a little bit or that injector and that number three cylinder could have been acting up and not giving that cylinder enough fuel causing just that one cylinder to go lean and burn up that piston. I don't think it would have anything to do with the tune. Uh, I mean, this car has been running pretty strong for the last three months. Unfortunately, it had to die so soon. My old motor setup lasted like, like two, two and a half years. So I'm not sure what went wrong. I feel like if it was something in the tune, it definitely would have happened way sooner because it's been running for a decent amount of time. But yeah, I mean, it doesn't have like a crazy amount of timing or anything like that in it. It has a decent amount, but nothing that should cause a piston to melt like that. And like I said, all the others look fine. Like they look perfect if you put the bore scope down there. One, two, and four, like the piston still looks brand new, but yeah, I don't think it's the tune, so I'm not really sure how it happened, but I'm obviously going to rebuild it. I'm just waiting to talk to Brent. Uh, today was the solar eclipse. wasn't very exciting, by the way, and Brent didn't even make it back to the shop in time today because the traffic was so bad because he went up to Wyoming, and the traffic has been backed up literally all day, so he didn't even make it back, so I do want to talk to him, see what he thinks I should do, because I'm either going to pull this motor out, sleeve this block, and do all new pistons, or get some other pistons that I found locally and put them in another stock H22A block that Brent has at the shop, and then just rebuild that with my same rods and pistons, which would be the cheaper way to go, but if I'm pulling it out for a third time, I might as well sleeve it and uh, do new pistons, like stronger, better pistons. So I mean, let, let me know what you guys think I should do on that. But yeah, there has been some things going on. So in the last couple days, we also got a letter from our city because we have a lot of cars outside that are not registered. So they're not happy about that. So we have been trying to take care of that. We've had to like clean up our yard work and just little stuff like that, just life stuff. So we've been taking care of that. Charlie just got done taking care of some personal stuff as well. So we'll hopefully be doing regular videos here pretty soon, but yeah, we just had a really busy weekend, and I also just started school today. Today was my first day, so I was getting ready for that as well. But yeah, I was planning on having a reaction video out pretty soon for the hats. That's what I was filming when this thing broke, but unfortunately that set me back. So that will not happen until I get it back together because I still want to get some more video. I only have a few right now. But uh, yeah, I'm definitely going to try to get her done pretty quick. Just kind of sucks that that happened. I was not expecting the hatch to break down this fast at all. I mean, like I said, the old motor setup lasts me so much longer than this, so I'm sure I might get quite a bit of hate saying it broke so fast. I'm guessing it had to be something with the fuel for sure, but I'll tear into her pretty soon and we'll definitely get her rebuilt and back on the road. Shouldn't be too long from now. But uh, yeah, that's pretty much just an update video. It's gonna be really short, just to let you guys know what's going on. So yeah, that's pretty much gonna be it for this video, but we will have more stuff coming out very soon. So thanks for watching.